Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software and on today's video, Speechmatics Connections Explained, I'm going to show you all of the changes that have happened with how you can connect to Speechmatics for use with Boost and Boost Flow in Eclipse 12. There are three ways that you can connect to Speechmatics in Eclipse 12. The first way is the online cloud connection that is built right in and is the default way to use Boost and Boost Flow with Speechmatics. This connection method does, however, require the internet, but it doesn't require any other extra hardware, it has no specific hardware requirements, and it will work on any computer where you already have Eclipse installed. Next, you can use a Boost Box for offline access to Speechmatics on any Eclipse installed computer that you use. A Boost Box is a small mini PC that connects directly to your computer. The Boost Box runs Speechmatics without the need of internet or any special hardware requirements on your PC. If you use several computers that all have Eclipse installed and you don't always have internet access when you're using real time, a Boost Box might be the answer for you. Lastly, you have the option of purchasing a laptop from Advantage Software. Compatible laptops can have Docker with Speechmatics installed directly on the laptop. This kind of connection to Speechmatics requires special hardware, and so that's why it's only available on computers purchased from Advantage Software. However, if you purchase a computer with Docker or a Boost Box from Advantage Software, as long as you have support, we'll continue providing all of the new Speechmatics versions for you and will contact you every time a new version is available to arrange that update. If you use the cloud connection over the internet, you'll never need to perform an update because you always have access to Speechmatic's latest version and vocabulary. No matter which method to connect to Speechmatic's you choose, you'll get the same great results with Boost and Boost Flow. Now let's take a look at how you set up each of these connections in Eclipse 12. I'm in Eclipse 12, and in order to configure my Boost settings and my Speechmatics connection, I'm going to go to my User Settings, to the Translate tab, and I'll click the Boost box in the middle right. In the Boost Settings window, I'm going to click Setup on the right to configure the Speech Engine. Once you're in the Speech Options window, it is the URL setting that controls how you communicate with Speechmatics. If this field is blank, it will use the Cloud Connection. However, if you click the drop-down list to the right, there are two other options. First is 127.0.0.1, and this will use the Docker container. Next is a WebSocket address pointing at IP address 192.168.101.1,9000, and this will connect you to a boost box. You can change this setting whenever you need to. If you typically use the cloud connection, but today you're going somewhere where you won't have internet access, you can simply change this to the WebSocket connection. Or you can create a special user in Eclipse for each of your connection methods if desirable. Once this field has been changed, it will retain that setting until you change it again. However, as I said, you can change it anytime you'd like to. To use the cloud setting, simply clear out any text at all. To use Docker, choose 127.0.0.1. And to use a boost box, choose the WebSocket address. And as always, if you have any questions or problems, please don't hesitate to reach out to support. As always, Advantage Software offers anytime support. Tech support can be reached with any question anytime, including weekends and holidays, at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thanks for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future. Thank you so much and have a great day.